Let's give her a warm welcome for Kathy Martinez! It's ready to have fun right now. Give it up for yourselves for being out here. What's the nice state of New York? Yeah. Thank you, U.S. soccer team, for coming and gracing us with your presence. This is good. I like this. This is fun. Oh my God, it's facial expressions. We never see those in LA. This is amazing. This is what happy looks like. <laughs> Right? Yeah, you don't get that because you don't live in LA. Sorry. <laughs> That'll be the last LA joke we do tonight. <laughs> no, and it's really, I mean, we're so Italian. Like, I'm comprised of the Marfugis, the Fortes, the Ferraris, and the Caprios. <laughs> I walked down the street and I kept spaghetti coming out of my asshole. <laughs> like, there's meatballs just coming out. I don't even need carbs, and I'm just like, sorry. <laughs> so awkward. God. And people always expect me to know how to speak Italian. And I'm like, fuck yeah, I do. I know four words. Four words, everyone. And they work in every situation, okay? It's, fotutemente perfecto, pago lui, prego, grazie. <laughs> You'd be like, this fucking girl knows what she's talking about. <laughs> right? It means, fucking perfect, UK, you're welcome, and thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll be in the lobby. I like Don Julio. I'll give lessons later for you guys. Is that cool? I wore these pants for you. Just letting you know. Ooh. <laughs> Don't be jealous. We're married. <laughs> no, it's great. And like when I was little, like I didn't want to be like a ballerina or like a veterinarian. My only goal in life was to be a mob wife. <laughs> right? Like how cool are they? Like they're so badass. I was like, yes. Now they're all in jail. So uh, I just want to be employed. I don't know. It's cool. It's no big deal. But I love doing stand-up. I love it. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm only doing it until my bartending career really takes off. <laughs> no, it's so cutthroat, though. Do we have any bartenders or any service industry people in here? No, because you're smart individuals and you live in New York and you have real jobs. Let me, let me school you a little bit on what it's like. Like, it's so cutthroat being a bartender that I, I just go and apply places to make sure I still got it. No, it's bad. And I literally, like, there's so many upsides to it, like fast casts, easy money, one night stands. Um, the downsides, yeah. Oh, sorry, Dad. Uh, <laughs> the downsides are that I have to deal with humans. <laughs> Not you. Your waitress is all telling me you're phenomenal humans. I'm talking about the kind of human that walks up to a bar and goes, <laughs> um, can I have a skinny girl? And she's gonna have a skinny Pinot Grigio, and she's gonna have a skinny Daiquiri, and she's gonna have a skinny Dirty Martini, and she's gonna have a skinny Coke. <laughs> oh wait, we're all on Coke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you can go fuck yourself, Bethany Frankel. <laughs> you skinny girl. If you guys have been living under a rock for the past five years, Bethany Frankel is the creator of the Skinny Girl Margarita. She's also leading a new breed of white girl annoying as fuck. <laughs> right? Like, we've all met that. I'm like, white chicks, like, stop it. Like, you're tindering, you're twerking, you're tweeting, you're blue face bathroom parties. Like, stop. You're giving us a bad name, right? Is anyone drinking a skinny margarita in here right now? No, because you're, you're smart individuals, that's why. Exactly, right? We don't have those in London, right? No, they're... No, you're like, we're good. This, we're smart. It's not better. <laughs> no, it's so terrible. I'm sorry, I'm being so racist right now. Black chicks, the Mexicans, you're doing it to you. Yeah, like I've seen your duck face selfies on my Instagram feed. Like, stop it. You're better than that. Um, you're the reason why I can wear my eyeliner as lip liner, chica. <laughs> like, seriously, like, stop it. Ask yourself, what would Beyonce do when they do it? Not Solange, don't do that. <laughs> yes, exactly, it's scary. No, it's bad. No, I these two girls walk up to the bar. I don't know their names. We can call them Cokehead Barbie. I cry when I drink tequila Barbie. And you can buy me drinks all night, but I'm not gonna fuck you, Barbie. 
<laughs> yeah, like we, we've met them before. So Coke Heavy looks at the receipt and she's all, okay. Vodka soda, vodka soda, vodka soda, eight tequila summers. Who ordered gratuity? <laughs> And I cry when I drink tequila bar, we just goes. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, I did, XOXO, I drink while I bartend so I don't fucking kill you, Barbie. <laughs> Alright, what? Good times, yeah, no, it's awesome. I'm recently single. Yay! Alright, no, it's cool. Um, he didn't think we were in a relationship, but I was really committed. Just going for it. It was great. No. Hey guys, no. Um, don't break up with a girl on Valentine's Day. I know, right? There's two holidays that are sacred that you don't end it on. Valentine's Day and birthdays. We don't do that, right? It's messed up. Like we could be dating and I could walk in on you. <laughs> it's your son. <laughs> oh, I I wouldn't do that to your dad. We could be dating and I could walk in on you having sex with my best friend on February 13th. And I'd be like, this sucks, but are we still on for tomorrow night? <laughs> I have a point, I'm Italian, everything's getting waxed today, like, I can't cancel. Like, we need to go out to dinner. <laughs> like, that's how it is, like, you just don't do that to girls. It's messed up, it's awful, it's fine. But I think I finally realized, um, to really fall in love, I just need to learn how to become a crazy bitch. Right? Yes, right. You guys love the crazy bitches. You do. And how many people are married in here? Okay, I know there's married people in here. Let's do a round of applause. There we go. I like it. Yeah, crazy bitch right there. There's a ring on it for a reason. No, it's, it's so true. Like, us girls, we'll see a crazy bitch walking down the street and we'll be like, that girl's an asshole. And you guys will see her and you will be like, that girl is going to let me put it in her asshole. <laughs> Oh, 
calls to a triple threat like me. Ari Gold gonna sign me. Work so hard, I ain't lazy. Y'all don't know that this bar pays me. The Lakers could go over 82 in the parlor pool, and it's still crazy. Boom. Thank you.